Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can set the page size, orientation, and margins in the publication. To do this, click the Page Design tab within the ribbon. The buttons that control the page setup of the publication are in this Page Setup button group. Click the Margins drop-down button to set the margins for your current publication. To set custom margin guides for the publication, select the Custom Margins command from the Buttons drop-down menu. Doing this will open up the Layout Guides dialog box and display the Margin Guides tab. In the Master Pages section, you can check the Two-Page Master checkbox if you need to set margins for a two-page master. In the Margin Guides area, you can enter custom margins into the left, right, top, and bottom spinner boxes. A preview will appear to the right side so you can see where your margins will appear on your publication page. When you are finished, click the OK button to apply the margins to your publication. The margins will appear within your publication as the blue lines that surround the page. When designing your publication, ensure that you do not place any content you want to appear on the page when you print into the designated margin areas. You can also switch the page orientation from portrait to landscape and vice versa by clicking the orientation drop-down. Then choose the type of page orientation to apply. You can choose a page size from the size drop-down button. To apply a custom page size, orientation, and margins by using the page setup dialog box, Either click the Page Setup dialog box launcher in the lower right corner of the Page Setup button group, or click the Size drop-down button in that same button group, and then choose the Page Setup command from the Buttons drop-down menu. In the Page Setup dialog box, enter the height and width of the paper into the Width and Height spinner boxes in the Page section. In the Margin Guide section below that, enter the desired margins into the top, left, bottom and right spinner boxes. In the Layout Type section, use the drop-down to choose a page layout. For the selected layout type, enter any additional settings into the Options section. When finished, click the OK button to apply your settings to the publication. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.